When you think of AI agents, do you picture a personal assistant like Tony Stark Jarvis or the calm under pressure task from the interstellar? Fear not, today's AI tech isn't quite science fiction till now. Currently, AI agents leverage models like GPT to understand goals, generate tasks, and complete the automating work and handle complex cognitive tasks. They can seamlessly integrate into your favorite apps, creating a team of robotic co-workers. With rapid advancement in AI models and no-code platforms, now is the perfect time to experiment and see what AI can do for you. With that said guys, I welcome you all to our today's tutorial on AI agents. In this tutorial, we are going to explore what AI agents are, their functions, types, how they are transforming various industries. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to have a comprehensive understanding of what AI agents are exactly. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we move on, just a quick info, guys. Simply Learn has got a postgraduate program in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM in AI and ML. You can learn the in demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, before we move on, I request you all that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. So let's get started. So guys, before we move on, let us discuss our evolution of AI. So guys, in 2022, there was an era of large language models. These models like GPT-3 became very much popular. They could write emails, generate code and answer questions but were limited to specific tasks without broader integration. In 2023, there was introduction of compound agents. Compound agents appeared combining multiple AI models to handle very, very complex tasks. They could perform several actions based on the data and context provided, making them more useful than single purpose model. And in 2024, we will be seeing a rise of integrated AI agents. AI agents will become a key part of our business processes. They could perform tasks independently, learn from interactions, and adapt to new requirements, providing a comprehensive approach to automation. Like you see Google Assistant or Siri working for you to pick up the call, scheduling a Google Meet in your calendar, and etc. Now, let's move on and understand an example first. So let us study about a problem first. So guys, suppose I have a question that how many leaves I can take in this year? So what I'll do guys, I'll put up a query, okay, and shoot it to the model, which is a basically a large language model, and it's gonna give me a solution. But do you think the answer will be correct? Because this model does not know me exactly. So definitely it's gonna give a wrong answer. So guys, this model will not give me a right answer. Definitely because the model does not understand like how many leaves I have, okay, how many leaves are allotted. So there is no data this model has about me. So this is basically a traditional chef model. Now, let us understand about a compound AI system, how it is going to integrate with a database, study about my data, and then it's gonna give it us a query. So guys, let us see this scenario. So suppose I give a query, like how many leaves I can take? So it is going to generate a search query first, okay? Next, what will happen, this model or LLM is going to search the database, okay? It's going to search, study about the entire data, and then it is going to predict like how many leaves I can take. So this is how generally compound AI systems work. Okay, and the solution which I'm going to get will be definitely correct. Now let us understand quite frankly what basically is an AI agent. So guys, AI agent is a tool that can perform tasks on its own by understanding and reacting to its surrounding. You can think it of as a self-driving car which navigates without the human help. AI agents can use technologies like generative AIs, large language models, and natural language processing to typically give you an answer or react according to the environment. They just typically need one instruction to get started. Another example can be a customer support organization where you see AI agents act as an additional type agent within the existing systems to help customers. These agents utilize advanced technologies and large amount of proprietary data and brand history to provide personalized experiences. 
They can be continuously updated and customized by analyzing the current data and ensuring they remain effective and relevant. So guys, we have seen about shift model and compound AI systems. So you would have got a brief idea regarding this. Now let us move on and understand about the key functions of AI agents. So guys, if we talk about the key functions, the first is that AI agents continuously monitor their environment, such as data fluctuations or customer behavior. Suppose we have an e-commerce AI agent tracking sales trends to adjust inventory levels. Okay. Now the second task would be its responsive actions. They act based on their perceptions to influence their environment. Suppose an AI agent is adjusting the product prices in real time based on the market trends. So you can see how AI agents are working in this scenario. Third thing you can ask about reasoning and interpretation. AI agents are interpreting complex data sets to extract meaningful insights. For example, analyzing social media data to understand customer sentiment. Next thing what we can see is problem solving and inference learning. Now, they can excel in finding solutions to complex challenges, suppose optimizing a supply chain by predicting and mitigating potential disruptions. Then AI agents can draw inferences from the data to predict future outcomes. Suppose predicting customer preferences to personalize marketing strategies. And finally, we are going to get action and outcome analysis. They determine the best actions to achieve desired outcomes. Example, planning marketing campaigns based on the potential ROI analysis. Okay, so these were some of the key responsibilities or key functionalities what AI agents can do. Now let us study about types of AI agents. So guys, our first one is simplex reflex agents. These agents basically react to the immediate perceptions without an internal model. For example, a thermostat adjusting temperature based on the current readings. Okay, so this can be one example based on this. So these are simplex reflex agents. The next one can be model based reflex agents. So basically what they do, they use an internal model to handle partially observable environments. Example, a robot vacuum mapping a room to navigate efficiently. So this can be a very good example of a model based reflex agents. Third one can be goal based agents. Suppose they make decisions based on achieving specific goals. Suppose there is a navigation system finding the fastest route to a destination. So that can be a goal based agents. Now, fourth one can be utility based agents who basically deal with maximizing performance using a utility function. Suppose there is an investment AI selecting portfolios to maximize the returns. Okay. Now, the fifth one can be the learning agents. What they do guys, they improve performance over time through experience. A recommendation engine refining suggestions based on user interactions. Next one is multi-agent systems or MAS. If I talk about multi-agents, they work together towards a common or individual goals. A network of AI agents managing a smart cities infrastructure can be one of the example of multi-agent systems. And finally, we have hierarchical agents. Basically guys, they are organized in a hierarchy with specific roles at each level. Suppose there is a management AI overseeing other agents in a manufacturing plant. So these were the type of agents. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding this. Now let us study about a case scenario and see how AI agent is going to work. So, so suppose guys, there's a company which aims to enhance its website performance and boost customer engagement. To achieve this, this company utilizes an AI agent integrated with Google Analytics. Now the first task, what they are going to do, guys, their first task would be monitoring the website traffic. So in this scenario, the AI agent's role will be that it is going to continuously monitor the website traffic data using Google Analytics. And the key metrics would be, it is going to track crucial metrics such as page views, bounce rates, and user demographics to understand how visitors interact with the website. Suppose if I talk about the page views, the number of times page on the websites are viewed, like providing insights into which pages are attracting attention, okay? If I talk about the bounce rates, it is going to tell about the percentage of visitors who leave the site after viewing only one page or indicating any potential issues with the engagement or relevance. Then there will be a role about user demographics. So there will be information about like visitors such as age, gender and location helping tailor content and marketing strategies to the audience. So guys basically in this case study what parameters we are going to look. The first one will be perceiving the dynamic changes, responsive actions, reasoning and interpretation. 
So these first three tasks would be performed by the AI agent. Next task would be its problem solving, then inference learning, and finally action outcome and analysis. We have discussed the first phase that is perceiving the dynamic changes, where we discussed about the page views, bounce rate, and user demographics. Now let us move on to the next stage that is the responsive actions. Here the task will be identifying underperforming pages. So an AI agent's role would be like identifying pages that are not performing well based on the traffic patterns. So it is going to give suggestions for improvement, like it is going to provide actionable insights such as content updates, layout changes, SEO improvements to enhance the user engagement. Now, if I talk in details, like in content updates, what is going to do? It will be responsible for refreshing outdated content and adding new information to keep user engaged and informed. Then it could go for layout changes where it is going to adjust the design and structure of the pages to improve user experience, making navigation a little bit easier and more intuitive. The third one can be an SEO improvements where it will be involved in enhancing the page search engine optimization so that you have an increase in visibility and you can attract more visitors. Now, the third would be reasoning and interpretation. Now here the AI agent's role is going to be that it is going to analyze the user behavior to understand what drives the conversions, like the action that fulfills the website's goal, like purchases or signups. Then here it's going to interpret the data, where from like Google Analytics to pinpoint high performing content and strategies. So you can see like how these things are being done by an AI agent, okay? In this stage, while doing the reasoning and interpretation, he will also come to know there is a problem to solve, basically. So here in this scenario, it could be like the AI agent is going to tackle issues like high bounce rates by optimizing the landing page to retain the visitors or can perform A-B testing to test the different versions of pages to determine the most effective design and content. So you can see the AI agent is doing these tasks simultaneously. Suppose reasoning and interpretation are the first go and then going for the problem solving. Now let us move on to the next phase that is inference and learning. Now here in this scenario, the AI agent is going to learn from user interactions and continuously refine its strategies to improve recommendations. So here will be the continuous updates where it is going to update its suggestions based on the latest data to stay effective. So you can see in this case, we have the user interaction learning, then we have adaptive recommendation. So these are the things which is generally given by the AI agent. So basically in this scenario, the AI agent is going to implement the suggestive changes and closely monitor the results to gauge their effectiveness. Now, here what it can do guys, here it can use the user interaction learning, okay? And it can give you the outcome based adjustments. Suppose if I talk about the first one, what is going to do? It is going to track the impact of implemented changes on key metrics like page views, bounce rates, conversions, using this information to assess the success of the interventions. And the next part, it is going to modify the strategies based on what works and what doesn't to keep improving the website performance and user engagement. So you can see all over here, I showed you an example that how AI agents will be involved in the business processes to more streamline the business and improve the revenue. So this was one of the examples. And by following these steps, AI agents helps the company optimize its website, leading to better performance and high customer engagement. So guys, this was an overall case study and I hope so you would have got some brief idea regarding what AI agents will be capable of. Now let us discuss about some of the future trends of AI agents. The first one that comes up to my mind is AI enabled customer experience. So guys, there will be enhanced personalization and interaction. AI will be revolutionizing customer experiences by using intelligent chatbots and virtual assistants. These AI systems can understand and respond to customer queries in real time. Then it's going to offer personalized recommendation based on individual preferences and past behavior. For example, there will be an online retailer using AI powered chatbots to assist customers with product recommendations like order tracking and resolving issues instantly. The next one that we have all over here is automation and robotics. So here what you can expect guys, suppose factories using robotic arms for assembly fire lines, warehouses using AI to manage inventory and automate the sorting process and also self-driving cars navigating the streets. So these were some of the examples in automation and robotics. Then we could see an example of generative AI. Suppose you are going to see a tool like DALI generating artwork based on text descriptions 
or AI composing original musics that artists can use as a foundation for new pieces. Then you can get AI assisted decision making. Suppose in a scenario where doctors are using AI to analyze medical images for quicker and more accurate diagnosis. Financial analysts leveraging AI to predict market trends and engineers using AI for optimizing design and processes. Next phase would be ethical AI. So guys, this is also one of the most interesting domain of AI aging. So here, what, what is going to happen guys? We are going to get and responsible, transparent and unbiased AI operations in this scenario. As AI will become more pervasive, it is crucial to ensure that the development and deployment are done ethically. So ethical AI will focus on creating systems that are transparent, accountable and free from bias. This involves by setting guidelines, standards for AI development to protect users' privacy rights and ensure fair treatment. For example, implementing rigorous testing and validation process to detect and mitigate biases in AI models and ensuring transparency in how AI decisions are made. So in this scenario, the ethical AI agents are also going to intervene in the market. So guys, that was all for today's session. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's session on AI agents at Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.